I first envisioned this piece, it, uh, it was really a work that was meant for the insides of a bar um, and kind of uh, those, those initial seed ideas um, were, I was really kind of picturing how they would make sense in this bar setting and the universe that connected to that um, crowd and somewhere along the line I think I had realized like, oh this isn't, I actually don't want to um, figure out that work in that environment even though I, I still feel like eventually the work will be relevant to that environment, I fig I realized that I needed some space that was a little bit more, um, still held onto that experimental quirkiness, but that also had the framework and the support structure that you would have from kind of a traditional theater space. Um, and so for me, it was very, it was a very natural, um, uh, ending point. Counterpulse kind of was kind of this natural ending point in a way of like realizing, oh, that's that here's this this um, space that that I can can reshape and move around and play with, um, and who that has a community and audience that that kind of is open to that and excited about that um, and, and happy to play in that same way. Um, but yeah, it also has kind of all of the support and structure that you would find in you know this traditional theater setting that allows us to deal with video technical issues and, you know, um, what happens when we want to kind of really deal with people in the middle of the space and, and having the opportunity to kind of rehearse that with, at times with people and being able to like grab a technical director and have him come in and actually talk about like, oh, well, this is what it means to like have three bodies jumping on top of a table that's right next to 20 people who are sitting down. So I think just being able to have those resources, um, and, and also, and, and then I think it's really important having a community that's open to that experimentation. You know, um, we had at the the first work in well, I had the second work in progress showing, um, I don't know, like thirty people um, came, and it was really wonderful to just have this community that jumped right on to to the themes and the topics and um, were willing to sit next to us as we moved through the space and did quirky stuff next to them. And, um, and then really um, didn't feel resistant then to, to it, but rather actually were really wanting to give feedback and wanting to, to, to eat, eat it up even more. Um, and, and that's kind of the community that I knew I was gonna need in order to figure out what this work was that it wasn't actually quite ready to be in the bigger public yet. It needed to kind of be in a, a more excited experimental audience base um, first. So the piece had some original initial ideas, and I think when I came into the residency, I really thought it was going to be about refining those ideas and kind of helping uh, clarify that, that vision that I had um, for the work. and. And a little bit of an experimental ground, ex experimentation um, place where uh, myself and my collaborators could really come together and talk through things and try things out and test things out. But I think always with the idea that we had a, a picture of what that um, final vision was, was going towards and, and that the arc of the residency was about kind of clarifying that picture. And then halfway through, or I guess a quarter of the way into the residency, um, one of our collaborators had to step out of the process and we brought two new people into the process and through the course of that I realized that the project was a very different piece than what, it, what I was originally thinking. Um, it really shifted gears in terms of not just the, the concept of what the piece was about but also who the piece was for and what kind of an audience it was for and, and what was what and the thematic aspects of the piece actually became a little less important, and the structural elements, the, the, the relationship with the audience, became more important, uh, a more important aspect of the work. And in that way, this has become much more of an experimentation, um, where we really kind of don't have, I don't feel like any of us have a sense of what that final picture is that we're really going for explicitly. We're, we're more connected to the... Um, 
the task at hand of, of discovering what kinds of relationship, um, authentic relationship experiences we can create with the audience. And using, I think, those same metaphors and ideas and thematic issues to kind of help frame that conversation, but but that ultimately it's um, the task is about this relationship to the audience and, and the exploration of that. So it has kind of shifted away from it being about this this final picture and clarifying and trying to refine that and, and more about just sticking to this question that we have.